New details now on the mystery surrounding Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's hospitalization at Walter Reed. The Pentagon says he was admitted last week, but there are growing questions about why other top U.S. officials and the president were kept in the dark about it for days that Austin was in intensive care. Natalie Brandt reports from Washington. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is said to be recovering well and in good spirits, but both Democrats and Republicans are expressing concern about the lack of transparency surrounding his hospitalization at Walter Reed. The Pentagon says Austin had an elective medical procedure on December 22nd and went home one day later. Then on New Year's Day, Austin started experiencing severe pain and was admitted to the intensive care unit. The next day, Austin transferred certain operational duties to his deputy, Kathleen Hicks, but she was not informed of his hospitalization until January 4th. The White House's chief of staff and national security advisor were not briefed until that day either. A defense official tells CBS News that the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General C.Q. Brown, was informed that Austin was in the hospital on January 2nd. But Brown, who is President Biden's principal military advisor, did not inform the White House. As questions about the timeline swirl, a White House official confirmed to CBS News the president is not considering firing Austin over the incident. Fellow cabinet members also expressed their support. I'm very much looking forward to seeing him fully uh, recovered and um, working side by side uh, in the year ahead. In a statement, Secretary Austin said, I take full responsibility for my decisions about disclosure and committed to doing better. And while he does remain in the hospital, the Pentagon says that Secretary Austin has resumed all of his duties. There is no word on when he might be released.